Amir is 10 and attends school in the Middle East. Instead of playing sports like the other boys, he prefers acting and writing poetry. Some of the boys laugh at him, telling him he's skinny and calling him a sissy. Things get worse when one of them picks on him. Soon, everyone is picking on him. Amir's teacher tells him it's a normal part of growing up. His father tells him to grow up and be a man. Around the world, one out of every three students is bullied by their peers. In many regions, physical bullying is the most common type of bullying, with 16% of bullied children saying they have been hit, kicked, shoved around or locked in rooms. Far away, in Europe, 13-year-old Rani is experiencing a different kind of bullying. She recently moved there from Asia with her family. It feels as if her world has been turned upside down. School is taught in a language she doesn't understand and she hasn't made any friends. Things can't get any worse until someone posts a hurtful text about her on social media, telling her to go back to her own country. The cyberbullying gets worse. Ethnicity, nationality or color is the second most common reason for bullying. The most common reason is physical appearance. 16-year-old Kaya in Southern Africa is bullied for the way she looks every day. Her parents are poor and can't afford to buy her shoes or a new uniform. Every day she walks kilometers to get to school. It's not easy, but her dream of being a doctor helps her to stay motivated. Lately, some of the boys from her school have been making life difficult. They wait for her along the path, crowding around her and making rude comments about the way she looks. When she tells them to leave her alone, they just laugh. Over 15% of bullied students say they were made fun of because of how their face or body looks. Many students, especially girls, experience violence based on their gender in and around school. As bullying continues, many victims don't know who to turn to and become isolated and depressed. They find it difficult to concentrate during lessons and start missing classes or drop out of school altogether. 42% feel like an outsider at school. 63% feel anxious for tests, even if they are well prepared and score lower than their peers. 45% of them give up on their dreams to pursue formal education after school. Countries cannot achieve inclusive and equitable quality education for all if learners are being bullied at school. There is a way to change this. We can stop bullying by adopting a whole education approach where teachers, principals, administrative staff, students and parents all play a role in promoting a safe and supportive school environment. We need to ensure that all students, whether they are bullied or see others being bullied, understand the nature and consequences of bullying and know how to report it and respond to it. Teachers and other school staff need to understand what bullying is and step in or act every time bullying happens. Schools and classroom environments need to be positive spaces where learners are not just physically safe but emotionally safe too, where classes are well managed and disciplined and teachers and students enjoy healthy relationships. Support must be put in place for those who are affected. We all have a role to play to ensure a learning environment where Amir feels accepted by his peers, where Rani's classmates respect diversity and where Kaya can pursue her dream to become a doctor. Let's stand together against bullying in school.